Okay. <laughs> Three. Am I like centered here? I don't. I don't even know. I can't even really tell. Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah, and today I'm back on my channel to film another video for you guys. And today's video is going to be another advice video because, like, let's be honest, what else would I post on my channel? And today's video is going to be another advice video on a topic that I love to talk about here on my channel. I'm sure you guys can guess what it is or you read the title, but today's video is going to be another period advice video. I always get requests to do these videos, so yeah, I am fulfilling your guys' requests and doing more period videos. And today's video is going to be on a topic that I am very passionate about when it comes to periods because this is something that genuinely affects my life and I'm sure it affects many of you guys' lives out there as well. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to survive period cramps. Yes, you guys, today we are talking all about cramps, all about period pains, and all about how much they suck and things you can do to kind of relieve yourself of that pain. And so today, I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of tips and hacks on how to survive period cramps and period pain and how to make things a little bit more bearable while you are on your period. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into right, this. So the first biggest tip I have in dealing with period pain, you guys, is medication. Pain relieving medication is some of the greatest things ever created by mankind and nobody ever got a reward for going through their period without any pain medication. Let me tell you that. Now I use Midol. I love Midol. It is a drug that's specifically made for period cramps. Like that's literally what it's made for. So it works really well in relieving the pain. But I also know a lot of people who use like Tylenol or other things like that. Don't feel bad about taking pain medication to relieve your period pains because like I know girls, it hurts. Now obviously watch the dosage, make sure you're safe with it. You know, ask your parents before you use any kind of medication but pain medication does help. So the next biggest tip, and this is one of the best ways to survive your period pains, is heat. Heat is one of the biggest ways to kind of decrease period pains because obviously when you're having period cramps and menstrual pains, your muscles are quite tense. So a few things that I would definitely recommend. One, get a heating pad. When I'm on my period, a lot of the times I will sit in bed with my heating pad and it really helps your muscles to just not tense up as much and it kind of just like really relieves the pain. Also, hot baths. Hot baths are great. Now, I take baths like literally almost every day. I'm just a bath person. I really enjoy taking a good bath, but taking a hot bath during your period is like the best thing ever because it just really soothes the muscles, makes everything feel better. And I feel like when you're in the bath, it's just like super calming. And when you're on your period, it's just like feels really good to be clean because like, let's be real here. Sometimes you can feel a little gross on your period. So by taking a bath, you're like relieving two things in one. You're like making yourself cleaner and relieving your period pains. So it's great. It's like a double whammy. All right. So the next tip I have for relieving period pains, and this is something that I know a a lot of people do not want to do on their period, but one of the best things you can do to relieve your period cramps is to get moving. Get outside and exercise, go and walk around, do a run, do a jog, do anything that will kind of get your like body into motion because though it might feel really good to just sit on your bed and like watch Netflix during your period, it is really good for your body to kind of get some kind of exercise. And also, when you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which is kind of like your body's own pain medication they kind of make you just feel happier and feel better and just like more energetic and so when you're exercising you're gonna feel a lot happier once you're done with your exercise than if you've just like sat in bed all day dealing with terrible period pains I know what like it is the hardest thing to do to get motivated to do anything when you're on your period getting out of bed in the morning is difficult when I'm on my period but trust me you will thank me go to the gym go outside take a walk take a run it'll be good for you it'll It'll help your cramps I promise you all right so the next thing to do that'll definitely help your cramps and I feel like a lot of people know that this helps with periods in general but they don't really like take this with cramps and that is to watch your diet now the first thing you should always do on your period you should always do this no matter what but on your period always remember to stay hydrated your body thrives off of water and kind of like keeping that hydration and it's also gonna help your blood flow regularly in your body which is gonna cause less cramps because a lot of times when your body is cramping it's like pushing blood 
out of your body. Like that's what cramping does. If you didn't know, TMI, cramping is literally like tiny contractions for the blood to come out of your body. So if your blood is flowing more regularly, it's going to be easier for the blood to exit your body. And another thing is also to avoid caffeine and salty foods. That is just going to kind of like get rid of all the hydration that I just told you to get is if you were just like downing like chips and soda, that's really not good for your body. Salty foods are a large cause of bloating and that is also something that kind of throws your body out of whack. So just try to avoid all of those things in general if you can. I know chips and coffee are like my livelihood. It's kind of what I thrive off of. But just, you know, try to eat a little bit healthier. You can have a potato chip here and there, but just make sure it's kind of in control. Moderation is a great thing. All right, so the next thing to do, and this doesn't necessarily help with like period cramps, but it will help you know when to deal with them, and that is to track your cycle. And I think this is really important just in general with your period. Now, I know that some people are like really irregular with their period and they have no idea when it's gonna come. I am sorry for those people out there, but my cycle, and probably some of your guys' out there too, is incredibly regular. Like I could literally tell you the day, the time, the hour, Hour that I was gonna get my period like my period is very regular sometimes I hate it but then I also know it's convenient because I'm not like surprised by my buddy one day and it's like hey I'm here I always know when it's coming and so it's really good to track your cycle because then you can know when to kind of get ready with your pain medication and stuff like that and also another thing is if you know when your period's gonna come take pain medication up to two days before your period comes and that's really gonna help it get in your system even before your period comes and it's gonna stop even more pain from happening before your friend comes. All right, and the last tip I have to having as pain-free of a period as you can is to get some sleep. Now, I know that this is hard for a lot of us in high school, middle school, college, probably just like living everyday life, but it is really important on your period to get rest because on your period, your body just needs to be more energized. I know when I'm on my period, I feel incredibly like sluggish and tired all the time just because I'm like, my body is literally emitting blood like I don't want to do anything. And so it's really important to get as much energy and as much rest. Just like let your body kind of take a break for a good like seven to eight hours a night and it's gonna be great. So that was the entire video and I hope this video helped you guys in some kind of way. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that will notify you every time I post a video, whether it is advice or beauty or period related, that will help you know every time I post a video. I love you guys so, so much and we are getting incredibly close to 13,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for how supportive you guys have been and I have been loving the super sweet comments I've been getting on my last videos. I've just been getting the best and most supportive comments on my last advice videos and you guys are just seriously really like what keeps me running on this channel. So I love you guys and thank you guys so, so much for that. I hope you guys are having an amazing morning, day, night or whenever you're viewing this video. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!